Have you ever had your mind blown? If not, I think it's time I've showed you something. Experts are raising safety concerns about a countermeasure adopted at the Fukushima Daiichi plant to stop a nuclear meltdown. Soon after the March 11th disaster, fire trucks were used to inject water into the reactors in an attempt to keep them cool. But a survey by NHK and experts shows that more than half the water probably didn't reach the reactors. NHK reporters studied the countermeasures with experts. They conducted an analysis using a map of the pipe layout for the number three reactor. The examination shows that an insufficient amount of pumped water reached the reactor. The water pumping was intended to cool the nuclear fuel inside the reactor. Workers connected the fire truck's hoses to the reactor's pipes. They tried to send water through them. But it's likely that some of the water entered a condenser instead of the reactor. The pump that circulates the condenser's water could have prevented this problem. If the pump had been working properly, it would have stopped the injected water from entering the condenser. But when the disaster struck, all power sources were knocked out and the pump didn't work. Experts investigating the problem found that about 55% of the pumped water had leaked away. They concluded that a meltdown could have been averted if 75% of the water had reached the reactors. The latest analysis raises questions about the safety of Japan's nuclear plants. Fire engines are being deployed to these plants as a precautionary measure. But two years after the Fukushima Daiichi accident, no one knows for sure whether fire engines can pump water into reactors in an emergency. It's too early to conclude that deploying fire engines can guarantee safety. It's important to make sure that the water from fire engines reaches the core of the reactors. Japan is observing the second anniversary of the March 11, 2011 earthquake, tsunami and nuclear accident. Officials and residents across the affected areas will hold memorial services for the victims on Monday. A magnitude 9.0 earthquake triggered tsunami waves over 10 meters high. The government says at least 20,851 people died or remain missing. The figure includes those who died after evacuating. The central government is holding a ceremony in Tokyo. A moment of silence will be observed at 2.46 p.m. Japan time, the exact moment the earthquake struck. Government figures show about 315,000 people were still living in temporary housing as of February. There are plans to eventually build about 23,000 public housing units for those who can't rebuild their, rebuild their homes, but only 84 units were completed as of February. Radiation decontamination work is also delayed. Local municipalities have only managed to accomplish such procedures in about 20% of nearly 180,000 households. The number of residents continues to decline in the hardest hit areas of Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. We can do shoot the isotopes out of the fucking air! Japanese people will mark on Monday the second anniversary of the earthquake, tsunami and nuclear accident. Protesters have marched through central Tokyo to demand the total abolition of nuclear energy. The rally was held one day before the anniversary. Tens of thousands of people gathered at a park near the Diet on Sunday morning. They held up banners saying no nukes and no more Fukushima. They marched past government offices and the Diet building. More than 60% of the Japanese people, the, especially this uh, civil society opinion, is very strong to against the nuclear power plants. The demonstrators strongly criticized the government's decision to continue using nuclear energy with stricter safety standards. They say there are no regulations that can make nuclear energy safe. We can do shoot the isotopes out of the fucking air! Protesters rallied in southern Belgium outside the Tianjin nuclear power plant where inspectors have found cracks in a nuclear reactor. <laughs> Protesters called for the immediate closing of all nuclear reactors. Belgian inspectors found cracks last year in two of the nation's seven nuclear reactors. Operations are being suspended until their safety is confirmed. Oh. <laughs> What's 
sometimes I'm just think funny things. <laughs> it's obvious that we must not depend on nuclear power after what happened with the Fukushima disaster. We just don't see that nuclear is the future. It just belongs to the past and we don't want that for our kids. More than half of Belgium's electricity is supplied by nuclear power. The country has decided to scrap all of its nuclear plants by 2025. But those opposed say abolition will lead to dependence on energy imports from neighboring countries. I'm not going to, I never want to make myself 100% clear with you guys. Uh, People around the world are voicing their opposition to nuclear energy. Demonstrations were also held in Europe ahead of March 11th, the second anniversary of the nuclear accident in Japan. In Germany, protesters rallied at four locations on Saturday. They demanded an immediate halt to the country's nine nuclear reactors that are still online. The government plans to close all nuclear plants by 2022. Organizers say a total, total of 28,000 people took part in the demonstrations. In the northern city of Hildesheim, protesters formed a human chain and demanded a halt to the operation of a nuclear plant near the city. The accident in Fukushima was a warning to Germany. I believe that nuclear power puts future generations at constant risk. Anti-nuclear demonstrations are planned in Berlin and elsewhere on Monday. In Paris, about 20,000 demonstrators formed a human chain. The event was jointly organized by 26 anti-nuclear groups in France. Near an office of the French nuclear energy giant Areva, protesters shouted anti-nuclear slogans such as no more nuclear plants and no more Fukushima's. France currently has 58 nuclear reactors online, which generate nearly 80% of the country's electricity. President François Hollande says the government will decrease the rate to 50% by 2025. A recent poll suggests that French people supporting nuclear power outnumber opponents by a large margin. It's a yes for me too. I mean, if we can't trust people not to lie to us, what are we doing here? Long time. 